scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Can you lift your hands and join me worship this king? Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Oh yes, we thank you, the miracle walker, the one who is changing and healing people. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. You're such an awesome God, and we give you all the praise. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. We'll sing it one more time from the depths of your heart. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Father, we thank you. And tonight, Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. For fire. of the finger of God in our midst and Lord we take our time and give you praise hallelujah hallelujah in the next two to three minutes I just want us to express our gratitude to God everyone just mention all the things the Bible says count your blessings Lord we give you thanks Zibrando Jalakata. Thank you. Those he saved from accidents. Those who were killed for the miracles. Changing impossible situations. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We acknowledge you as the doer of these things. No man is worthy of praise. Not Joshua Selman. Not anyone else. There is one who is worthy of all the praise and we thank you. We praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Aleluya. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your glory. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your praise. Lift your hands and bless his name. With everything, with everything, we will shout. Lord, we are saying thank you. We are not ungrateful. We choose to see the things that you are doing in our midst. And Lord, we thank you. We will shout for your praise. One more time with everything. I will shout for your glory. Worship rises from your spirit. One more time, just the voices. The power of God is healing people right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ziba Silaman Protishala. Your presence is all we have, oh God. Your presence is all we have. In you we make our boast all day long. Your presence is all that we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for the gift of your presence. This is all that we have. This is all that we have. Your presence. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mighty one of Israel. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel. Sing Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The mighty one in the midst of his people. Doing wonders. Or inspiring wonders. Come on, sing it to the miracle walker. Sing it to the one who can change your life. Emmanuel. Your name is God. One more time, lift your voice and sing. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Help us tonight, O oh God. Spirit of the living God, we depend on you. Help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Greet everyone around you. God bless you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the mighty God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the faithful God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, is the mighty God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jehovah, you are good, you are kind, you are more than what we call it. Jehovah, you are good. Jehovah, 
Ask the Lord to touch you. Pray that His word will change you. Change us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Good to see everyone. God bless you. Praise God. I want to talk about something very, very important tonight. But first, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 71. We'll read this scripture and we'll arise. And I want you to pray your life out within the next five minutes. And then we will teach. Because in this season, God is determined that you must be great and no power in existence will stop it Psalm 71 verse 21 Psalm 71 whether you have a seat or not I want you to just concentrate because the power of God will touch you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to you tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul I will be changed His glory will be revealed When the Spirit takes over my soul Ready? Psalm 71 Verse 21 One to read One more time One more time. Jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is your word. You are determined to increase my greatness. It says, Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere. You will increase my greatness. You will increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Thou shall increase my greatness. This is your word for me. I receive it. You receive. You increase my greatness financially. You increase my greatness career wise. Go ahead and prophesy. And say, Lord, you are determined to increase my greatness. It says, Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Thou shall increase my greatness. Oh, you will increase my greatness. I will be higher than I am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray 
tonight God is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me Lord we receive your word as a house you will increase our greatness 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 hallelujah isaiah 54 isaiah 52 54 Isaiah 54 I'll read verse 1 you read verse 2 and then we'll read verse 3 together sing O barren thou that didst not bear break forth into singing and cry aloud thou who did not travel with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife saith the Lord verse 2 Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits Shake i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit nothing limits me pray inside and outside i'm breaking forth this is the word of the lord i'm breaking forth on the left breaking forth on the right i'm breaking forth 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 in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth we are breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah ezekiel 47 Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Sike preti shabalada ba kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life it's time to move to the next level it's time to move to the next level break barriers break barriers break barriers ancestral barriers break limitations that came with your lineage i prophesy to you rise up this is your season for your head to be lifted up this is your season you will shine like the star you will shine like the star rise up to your destiny answer the prophecy of your name i prophesy to you arise shine your light is come in this season arise shake up the dust arise stop crying shine is your season to shine the gentiles will come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising i prophesy you are marked for shining arise and shine somebody is leaving his current level let me tell you listen i prophesy to you that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and when they saw Saul they said is Saul also a prophet what suddenly happened a man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing I pray in the name that is above all names those who have laughed at you this is the season they will see the glory of God arise those who have mocked your God I prophesy this is the season you will arise those who have said it's impossible may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the Bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for Joseph tonight my God is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why I came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen he says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the Bible says again the word of the Lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody and we are going to prophesy
combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting it's my season of breaking form it's my season of life it's my season of dominion by the power of the holy ghost prophesy breaking forth in every area of your life I'm breaking forth spiritually I'm breaking forth financially hallelujah hallelujah let's take one more scripture revelation chapter 3 man take a babakata labakata revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 is projected are you ready? One to read. Stop. It says, I know your works. In other words, I've been watching you. Although things are not working, I watch the way you praise me through the pain. It said, I know your works. And as a result, behold, see, I have set before you an open door. It said, no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it in. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight oh yes you set before me an open door an open door Can we still pray through more scriptures? Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I'll read verse 1 and 2. And then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart. Isaiah 45. Thus saith the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. It says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shekete baba baba. I'm praying the second neighbor carry out of Baba. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray. And say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead. And you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, break 
koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture, Isaiah 43. Hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together they shall not rise and they are extinct they are quenched as a weak verse 18 is a prophecy to someone he said remember ye not the former things forget about the disappointment of yesterday forget about who said what forget about what did not work are you hearing me forget about the result of yesterday forget about what the doctor said he said remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old why verse 19 behold i will do a new thing oh yes he will do a new thing now we shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert i like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment I remember not the failure go ahead and prophesy it's a new season god is doing a new thing god is doing a new thing receive it as a prophecy hallelujah May your ears hear it may your eyes see it and may your hands handle it i prophesy one more time may your ears hear about it may your eyes see the miracle and may these hands that are lifted may these hands handle it in the name of the lord jesus christ give god a shout of praise and be seated Thank you Jesus once in a while God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you Jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me, that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God. Hallelujah. 
the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom earns the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is god's desire for them to experience the blessings of god to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of god to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but i, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us 
will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards god towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that god himself called one of the names of god is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of god that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of god i remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of god hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the Bible is not a storybook the Bible is the wisdom of God and if you follow through especially the teachings of Jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please 
three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them I, is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the Lord said unto him, please go back to verse 20. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. Let's see what the master said, verse 21. And the Lord said unto him, well done, good and... Did he say good and hardworking servant? Good and faithful servant. Thou hast been what? Faithful. Are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things I will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 
and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you were a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said he, he, he was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sowed not and gather where i have not sowed what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful it says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate 
we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you he says it's only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful God, you said you should have blessed her. And God is saying, leave me alone. I'm the one who sees the heart of men. Listen, if God does not lift anybody, leave them there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people. You see a man of God and you say, after two years, your church is still five members. Abba, oh God, boy, you are anointed. You are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people then you see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of God always come in levels that means whatever level God gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh God when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh 
and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful i've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there Emmanuel Amechi Ani. I'll never forget his name. They started the church in a hotel not too far from our house. And they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard. He was part of those who brought somebody. So when the church started, they said I should come and play keyboard. When I came to the church, no choir, no nothing. I would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church. I've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but God is my witness. I never had cause to complain once. Listen, if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking, you are sowing a seed, you will reap it for sure. Hallelujah. There are people who will never work in a place faithfully. Their job is to observe what is wrong. Why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem she be you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever it says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down yeah, that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left 
Say, Lord, what are you saying? Say, turn left. It's time for you to change levels. And the sister is just sweeping her thing. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. And the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching. All of a sudden, you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again. Faithfulness. Hallelujah. Come to him. I'll never forget. She used to be the one leading worship before we started Koinonia. Remember, somebody will come for those of you who were there. Binga. They will play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship. I will never forget one day I lashed them. Can you remember? The day I lashed you seriously. Very seriously. They were not serious with their work. And I came that night from, I came from the throne room with such an anointing. And when I came, you know, it's not my fault. Jesus entered the temple. When he saw what was going on in the temple, say, it's the zeal of the Lord. And that day I made sure that I told them before the meeting, they must pray for one hour. Pray in tongues for one hour. Clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear. God has honored her today. I'm saying this. When you see God lifting people, in spite of your criticism, keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing. Bless you, my dear. Are you getting my point now? Say, Lord, I receive grace to be faithful. God gave you an anointing. You can't heal any sick body. But he gave you grace to preach. You have refused to preach. You don't do any evangelism. See, I'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power. Haba, I, I let, let me shine too. When I pray, let the person fall. How can I be frustrating myself? I'm talking, the guys agree with me. I'm quoting a scripture, he's responding back. Lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference. That's what you want. And God is watching. God is saying, look at, this is the level of grace that I gave you. And this is what you are doing with it. Remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level. That's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit. You can see a man will come and in one year, he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years. You get the same job in the same office. Other people are eyeing the boss. Shouting there and there. This boss likes women. The other one is saying, Lord, I thank you for the privilege. Although they are paying me 20,000, I know it cannot do anything. I thank you and I'll be faithful. The other one is saying, we, wicked boss, you give us 20,000. We are here walking. You are using a phone of 200,000. You are there grumbling and God is watching you. Hallelujah. Do you know God watches your works as you serve, as you are faithful? God gave you a little level. When I started out, I didn't start as anointed as this. It would have been witchcraft if I started like this. Line upon line. Faithfulness. I remember when we were very few, those who were around, one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa Hospital. We went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the Spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction he said i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom 
and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but god trusts you with fifty thousand and you say lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this ogasa this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? It's a very serious message. Be faithful. Stop eyeing a high position somewhere. Be faithful. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Jesus started with a few disciples. And then there were so many people. Then there was a crowd. It didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now i see this not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks is better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if you cannot carry people you can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it 
God gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful I receive grace to be faithful that's what I, I tell God all the time this work this little work that God has given I, I, I take it that's why I take my job seriously every time you see me I, I'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me I put a sense of urgency time to pray when I'm praying for you nobody disturbs me I shut up the place and I'm praying. I say, Lord, you have committed these people and it's my job to pray. Bless them. Even those who are not tithing, let the tithe of the house cover for them while they listen to the message. You have not tithed for one year and the heavens are still opening over you. Let me tell you that it is these prayers that we are praying. A day will come, God will shift you out alone. And then you say, so this is how the heavens have been. Faithfulness. God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard. You don't rehearse. You are not serious. You are not improving yourself. You are there angry with anybody who can. See, there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness. We never appreciate what, give, what God gives us. We always want more. And we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful. Intimidated by people. And we, oh God, I want this. I want this. And many of us get into all kinds of things. That's what has made many men of God to get into witchcraft. The truth is, the honor they want to get is going to come. How many of you know that all of us here will be blessed? We are going to be blessed. The millions will come. A day will come. The things you admire now. See, I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen. The things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure people lie everywhere say I ask them where are they walking say I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction what is the name I say it's a construction company I shuttle Abuja and uh, Zaria so what are you doing now I came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's a construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem it should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit 
and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently many of us there are shops you cannot pass right now you have eaten almost one quarter of everything there your money is not enough to buy it but you must buy it every time you pass i want black currant how much 600 how much do you have 59 say, oh, just give me because we cannot be faithful at this level everybody said receive grace to be faithful refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to to lead but when you stand here huh, and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. I, I, who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe that God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you and then you see God bless someone else and you are like ah God I receive grace to be faithful Lord I thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said I, I rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper God is speaking to someone tonight I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness 
is seeing accountability God says you are ready to move higher who is God speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful God gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell he says is it my property this beat you is it my property and you want God to honor you you want God to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always speaks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful God will never never it doesn't work that way who is God speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say Lord I repent I've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like David Oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming Say, let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now. See what you are thinking. Say, ah, a man with this crowd, the money. You carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship, and you see four people, four committed people. Say, Didn't I tell you to bring five five people? Why have stand up? Why have you not brought five five people? You must bring five five people. Have you been faithful? The the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and I know God will hear my prayer. God saw my heart. Till today, till tomorrow. God knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say Joshua Selman is a great man. People say all kinds of things, send all kinds of text messages and I thank God. But God knows for the rest of my life, I remain a servant, serving the house of God. Forget about all of this little honor that comes. This is, if you want it, the welfare, the welfare can give you. When you see all the protocol standing, following me, ah. When Koinonia started, I used to climb bike, machine, during miracle service. There will be crowd inside and outside. You just see me coming on machine. Shape, blah, 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 blah. Bless your people, oh God. Change their story. Change their life. And it was never an embarrassment. It was the protocol department that decided. They said, Kai, please, honor to whom honor is due. This is over. Tomorrow now, somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that God has blessed me with. You will now be angry. Why are you angry? I climbed bike. I entered taxi. Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go. You say, no, let them not know that I didn't come with my car. And you start explaining to everybody, my car was faulty. Who asked you? Enter the bus and go home. Enter the bus and go home. Everybody knows you are still rising. There is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there. We are all young people rising. It's just that some are faster than others. What's the embarrassment about? Somebody comes to your room and it's only Gary you have. You are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself. Bring it out. 
and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. All I have needed, I have signs provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people. Because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady, you don't want to fall your hand. That is foolishness of the highest order. The person who played the fatherly role of Jesus was a carpenter. Are you getting my point? Get this childishness out of your life. There are some of you here, the work that you do, you wash clothes for people, is better than prostitution, is better than stealing. Learn dignity in labor. Be faithful there. You're working and they're giving you 200 naira. It's small, but the 200 naira is with dignity. There are many of you. God gave you an idea. You and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed. You laughed at God like Sarah. He said, God, if you don't, if you cannot bless me, I can wait. There are some of us here. God told you, I will take you far, but start selling used clothes. You said, Ha! Ah, God, used clothes. I have never worn a, a, these clothes that the one, uh, what they call it? Hallelujah. I only wear designers. Why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, You never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here 
I choose to be faithful. I will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level. That's why you can listen to a man. It's not like he has so much rema or he has so much, but you will just say, may God increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness. And some people will come on, on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody. This is the place of the anointing. You will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness. This morning, I was just worshipping and I said, Lord, will you bless your people? Worship was just playing early in the morning and I was crying. Tears were coming out. I said, Lord, there are people coming tonight with burdens. There are people coming, trusting God. A lady came in from just i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman God forbid if I die today, ah yes, you will cry for one week. You say, why did he die? You go and listen to all my messages that I say I won't die. I say, oh, he has died. After one week, case closed. You will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, By the time you finish the fight, something will... <laughs> ah! Thank you for this deliverance, oh Lord. I have no business in all of this nonsense. My desire is to serve you. My one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised You want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding faults contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days, God is going to be moving across this congregation, checking the report cards of men. Let me see your prayer life. Did you pray for the house? Where nobody saw you, were you worshipping in spirit and in truth? Hallelujah. I told him, Lord, whatever will change my faithfulness in service, whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised God is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace 
but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of debt now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people 
while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them much you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come i know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan worked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient 
a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me yeah. i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time i want you to come out i want to lay my hands on you the lord is leading me to do this all those worshiping with us for the first time i want you to just come out and stand here i want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life please very quickly we're out of time everyone if this is your first time of coming just come and line up here hallelujah i want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the lord upon you god is able to do just what he says he will do he's got to fulfill every promise to you don't give up on she will keep up on you, say, say, oh. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for coming. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. Now listen. When I lay my hands on you, as soon as I lay my hands on you, I just want you to go out. There is a committee that will meet with you. Hallelujah. They will meet with you and just greet you warmly. Ideally, I'm just supposed to call you, pray, and just bless you. But the lord is leading me to lay my hands on you hallelujah i like you to be praying and as i lay my hands on you just a touch i want you to believe god whatever it is 
that you came here trusting God for I want you to believe as I lay my hands on you for many of you doors will be opened supernaturally I want you to desire it lift your voice and begin to pray everyone in the congregation stretch your hands I'll be very fast very fast just a touch when I lay my hands on you just follow the other people outside thank you father bless them oh God bless them I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus and I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost I anoint you in the name of Jesus I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost I anoint you receive the anointing receive breakthrough in every area of your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ receive breakthrough let the hand of God be strong upon you may the grace of God be at work in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I rebuke every spirit every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be free from any assault of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever is not working in your life I command it to work now in the name of Jesus Christ I command that the heavens are open towards you the heavens are open over you in the mighty name of Jesus by the hand of the mighty God the heavens are open towards you in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus enjoy unlimited grace enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus may the hand of God come strong upon your life may he anoint you mightily in the name of Jesus may the grace of God speak in your life rise from one level of grace to another in the name of Jesus be blessed you are blessed by the power of the Almighty in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ two prayer points prayer point number one oh God take away pride and impatience from my life lift your voice and pray take away pride 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 and impatience please pray it Lord take away pride pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me I take away that pride by the power of the Holy Ghost pray I pray I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me I receive grace to be faithful I receive grace to be faithful faithful to God faithful to man faithful in the house of God pray I receive humility in the name of Jesus I refuse a fake life I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience I receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience to move one step at a time I'm not in a hurry I'm not in a hurry to be rich I'm not in a hurry to be influential I take my time I go through the school of the spirit I remain properly trained properly trained to be used by God I am well equipped I move from one level to the other hallelujah hallelujah this prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level if you truly know under God that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business in your academics in your marriage in your life in the house of God towards God don't try to pray for eight hours every day start with 30 minutes or one hour be faithful don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual 
you pray eight hours today the next time you pray again is after four months when you have one terrible nightmare you are cheating yourself you if you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again it's about consistency and faithfulness then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher don't try to read 100 chapters of the bible for now you can buy devotionals buy a devotional and use you do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own be humble use the devotional let it help you when you become grown in the world you can now begin to explore you are not using the devotional and you are not praying hallelujah for those of you who have been faithful i like you to pray and say lord i connect to the anointing for the next level lift your voice and pray if you truly know that you have been faithful lift your voice and pray i receive grace oh god according to your word higher dimensions of prosperity higher dimensions of the anointing higher dimensions of influence pray for yourself hallelujah listen very carefully most of the miracles that we need i submit to you most of the miracles that we need are in the realm of our understanding and the realm of the mind much more than physical miracles we need a real miracle of a reconstructed understanding to be able to know god's perspectives this is the secret of victory this is how we win in this kingdom that's why the preaching and the teaching of the word is very important because they are the spiritual systems are located for bringing understanding when the word is preached and taught generally it brings you into a comprehension it influences your understanding and when your mind listen when your mind changes then truly your life will change it's true you are not truly free until your mind is free no matter what else around you is free if your mind is under captivity then you are really in bondage are we together let me show you something a revelation that god gave me for tonight luke chapter 4 we're reading five verses luke chapter 4 we'll start from verse 14 luke chapter 4 this is jesus now luke chapter 4 and verse 14 after his time of fast and prayer the bible says and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a fame of him through the region round about 15 and he taught in their synagogues you see jesus was a teacher he was a teacher he wanted to give people understanding 90 percent of his ministry was teaching 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 he built the disciples by teaching the impartations happen few times most of their encounters was the teaching ministry of jesus that's how they became apostles the bible says being glorified of all 16. let me have your attention now and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read he's about to read isaiah 61 now listen and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised just keep 18. see how many times the various issues required preaching there were three main issues in the ministry of Jesus that the solution was hidden in preaching not doing preaching number one very quickly 
that every time you met a poor man the solution lied in doing something to his mind the bible says he had anointed me to preach not just to give to the poor he had anointed me to do something to their minds because the issue whether it is some version say meek it doesn't matter no matter how you see it it still requires preaching so when you see someone in a financial predicament god's recommendation is that that person is not yet free until the word of god is able to do something to his mind otherwise that person will remain in bondage how true bless someone who is poor in his mind a thousand times his mind would turn his life back to look like his mind when it has to do with the poor the secret to really helping them is to camp them under the wisdom of god's word and the bible says to preach the gospel to the poor the next sets of people that require preaching amazing amazing this is where the apostolic and prophetic ministry in many regards has failed woefully the next set of those who require preaching are those who are captive in need of deliverance it didn't say to conduct deliverance it said to preach deliverance that means much more than driving the spirit entity in their lives and around their situations jesus is saying they are not truly free until deliverance is preached to them listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call this deliverance through transformation that your mind is reoriented again to have spiritual understanding that keeps the door closed one of the things and and i thank god that this is a ministry that believes in the whole counsel of god shortly we are going to be praying casting out devils and just taking away these influences that stand the way of people but then the bible says that the journey to deliverance will continue being a cycle a helpless cycle to the point that it becomes a mockery until the preaching dimension not the laying hands dimension not the prophecy dimension the preaching dimension there is something that must be captured in your deliverance message that affects the minds not just the spirits and the bodies of men otherwise these spirits will make a mockery of you they will leave the people and return back because their mindsets have become strongholds the spirits have created fortifications around their thinking that will allow the spirit come back again are we together to preach deliverance not just to conduct deliverance i admit to you that it is here that the apostolic and the prophetic ministry in many regards has failed because of the charismatism that is around ministering to people seeing someone fall roll under the anointing you know when that happens it looks like it's an accolade on you as the man of god and so we enjoy it no matter how many times you must go through that rigor i'm satisfied provided it helps in making me shine but the bible is saying by and large the delivery will be tired <laughs> permit me my english that person is not going to except if it's a fresh impartation and the person must know the new grace that is different from last week's falling there's a lot of mess in the body of christ demons continue to make mockery of our ignorance many people are permanent gateways for the entry and the exit of spirits it was jesus himself that carried out the demonology lecture he didn't give anybody he handled that course by himself and this is what he taught us remember when jesus talks you listen he says when a spirit leaves a man that means spirits can leave men we know that apostles and prophets we god has helped us in that area we know how to make spirits leave men but the Bible says that spirit will go through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge. Are we together now? And then the Bible says not finding a place of refuge. Here's what the spirit will say. Remember the person had been delivered now and he's jumping in the church and he's happy. Hallelujah. Doors are opening and the spirit is saying I'm coming back. The spirit is saying I will go back like the prodigal son. The prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. The spirit says, I will arise and go back to my house. He's calling the person who had been delivered my house. That means he's still 
he's still laying claims he comes back according to jesus and finds the house swept clean but empty everybody say empty say it empty there is a law in the spirit that anywhere there is void anything can feel it when there was darkness and void the holy spirit came to hover around it swept clean through deliverance by casting out the devil but then empty because the word contents that will fill that person and close the door permanently is not there he has not received the preaching dimension of deliverance to let you know that now that this spirit has left you are we together now to begin to educate you into understanding what christ has done for you and then to help you to be able to stand your ground like paul would teach in the book of ephesians supplying you all the spiritual arsenals that can keep you safe now that you are free it's not there so the spirit will rout through anything anger jealousy and gladly stroll back into the person unfortunately jesus said no spirit returns alone it will gather seven others more dangerous than itself and return to the person so that the end of that person is worse than the beginning if you're with me say amen this is why there are many temporal miracles you hear people say i received a miracle a spirit left me and then i started this and then the situation gets compounded and it becomes worse again because the person does not or he has not been educated to see the relevance you see let me tell you this come the moment you cast a spirit out of a person or out or around a situation spirits are not only in people spirits are also in situations situations are bodies that spirits can possess are we together now yes so that situation or that body the spirit leaves but the individual listen carefully the individual is here standing and his mindset has not been changed has not been altered the mindset becomes a gateway that spirit enters back and continues to influence the person and when these spirits study the man of god and they know that the man of god may be well-meaning he may be very anointed but his word content is very low they no longer will be afraid even before you cast them they'll just go out and you will think it's a sign that you are getting more anointed it's a sign that they have mastered your ignorance and created a way of insulting you they will freely go and wait immediately after the grace they enter the person and continue to go so you see the labor it looks like this warfare is endless you will continue to cast out demons and demons and demons and demons forever whereas there can be victory established are you with me now that's why you can have a particular dream or series of dreams or all kinds of attacks and then you can have a strong season where there is an emphasis on the ministry or deliverance ministry or something like that and then the demons leave and afterwards the patience and the interest to allow deliverance be taught you is not there and these spirits will return they are stubborn spirits so said jesus they don't leave and go away even satan left jesus for a while and came back came back through peter came back through judas until he thought he got jesus are we together the body of christ does not have the patience to allow the word of god let me tell you this if you are not teaching people you have to teach people the value of sitting to receive and to grow in the word the bible says let the word of christ dwell in you in all richness you're a man of god here please listen it is not so much about manifestation and rolling under the anointing and, and all of those kinds of things train your people to sit down and listen to the word of god and then train yourself to make sure you understand what you are teaching so that the people are not listening to what becomes poisonous to them if you're with me say amen when believers were saved in the early church they were not just left to go a few people were left without real spiritual follow-up and you saw what happened to them 
for instance in Acts chapter 19 the Bible says Paul having passed through the upper coast he came and he found certain disciples supposedly and then he asked them a question he said have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed and they said we've not even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost and then he said unto what baptism then were you baptized and they said unto the baptism of John and Jesus corrected them and said no the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance so that you will believe on who that will come and then they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and Paul laying his hands upon them the Bible says they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to pray in tongues and they prophesied they were 12 in number all of them that was a new level for them when you just back down a little you read from chapter 18 the last six verses the bible talks about a man called apollos a great man he was an eloquent man fervent in spirit mighty in scripture the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john and then one day he came for a meeting and then aquila and priscilla met him and then they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly and then he became more useful to the body because he now began to argue based on the new light that he had you must pray and cast away ignorance the worst oppression is not demonic oppression that the spirit influences you is that when the spirit saps your desire for the word so that you do not have time and especially for women of god it's possible to be reading the bible just because of the pressure i've been ministering right from saturday back to back every day up until yesterday dash in here to come tomorrow and back again to finish the conference you can imagine over 18 sermons within one week so it's easy i can be up and doing just studying the bible as though i have an interest but it may be that it's just for the formality of finding a sermon and these spirits watch out for these kinds of things are we together you prevail as a believer when your understanding is altered by the word of god it gives you an appreciation for excellence it gives you an appreciation for diligence it gives you an appreciation for knowledge it gives you an appreciation for value you see the all surpassing excellency of god's power it will make you need the holy spirit in your life it will damage ignorance from your life and strengthen you to be effective and remember the more your spiritual capacity is the more god can flow through you and from you to others this is how to disciple nations are we together this night so give us luke chapter 4 again let me finish up and then we'll pray mighty god so the poor need the gospel preached those in need of deliverance much more than the casting of the devil they need to understand the message that the bible calls preaching deliverance and then number three look up please to preach again the acceptable year of the lord king james says the acceptable year of the lord i think it's a new living translation that says to preach the year of the lord's favor the word acceptable year there doesn't just mean the day God has agreed. Uh -uh. It was a direct translation. But it is the Lord's favor to preach the Lord's favor. So those in need of favor is more than just laying on of hands. It's more than just prophecy receive favor. There is an, a spiritual education, a spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor is one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited that favor just happens when god wants to favor you but it's not true it's not true my brothers let me tell you this it is not true favor is merited there is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited but when you truly know what favor is and how it works you know that it is merited merited there does not mean everything even your obedience is done by the grace of god supplied you don't have the power to walk in it favor is not unmerited don't insult any man of god and don't look down any man of god you hear teaching and saying is unmerited that's not what i'm teaching you you may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing but then I can tell you this 
if you are under this leadership and you want results in your life understand that favor is merited i've taught you this that favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to right proverbs 13 and verse 15 good understanding give it or bring it forth favor and it says the way of the transgressor is hard good understanding is like a woman proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 good understanding is like a pregnant woman she can give birth to a child and the bible names that child favor transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child and the name of the child is hardship hardship is predictable there is there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name unfortunately it's life that names it hardship that's the name of your child favor that's the name of your child so when you tell people favor is unmerited they just sit down and say okay so what do i do and then they just sit down and say okay god just favor me and nothing will happen most people have not tasted what the bible calls favor i've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough favor is only favor if it is repeated if it happens just once in a while or once in a long while that's breakthrough that's not favor it's true are we together so when you need favor jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the lord ah. i know there's more that's found in you be careful be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge and don't be ashamed to open yourself for change many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be i have absolute disloyalty for error i'm not ashamed when i find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life the moment you find the truth you see your loyalty you feel like you are betraying your convictions and we will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you and i will never yell will never settle for less One more time. We will never say, we'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. The same way many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you. It may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time. You see that? by very well-meaning men and women of god from a very sincere heart that's why knowing god is powerful you need flexibility to know god because you will know things about him that will it will be like deliverance from a cult now how do i come out of this knowing that all my life this is what i believed in i shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman fine smart man of god who for a long time held the view that look it was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and i remember when he came to see me in my room then as soon as i saw him i saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him 
and then i was i was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him my brother you may need prayer no 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 no. i don't need anything i'm okay i'm all right i'm fine i'm this i said i understand i'm not about to argue with you but please this is what I'm... no 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 no. this person came for counseling something is obviously wrong with his life and now i'm seeing that this is what is wrong and the gentleman will just not agree and then i pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him and this guy would get up like 15 minutes later shouting and manifesting and talking under all kinds of things and then when i was done he got up i didn't look down on him i politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now i believe this i believe that Do you cry when you buy a better phone? Do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone? Don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new, but truth it is. Just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience. That's why you must have meekness and flexibility. The goal is not to create argument and to, no, 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 no. If I find out that what I believe now is wrong, I will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is. And in all honesty, come and tell you I apologize. I've seen better now. I will not be ashamed to say it. But my brothers and my sisters, let me tell you, God has granted us the grace to prove some things. And these things we teach are not suggestions. Are we together? Yes. Favor will not come upon you just because you want it no the gospel must be preached you must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor and then when the teaching comes there is an empowerment is usually light and grace light grace light grace full of grace and truth 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 that's how it works when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm 20 now 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in i told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god I went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by God's grace I tell you this I'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me I say it with all humility and so I read lots of books that propose so many things and I walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of God they would oppress me I would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like it's happening to many of you I will round up the fast as I'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again I said what I mean what is this is that, will it be honest that I don't have faith eventually I found out what was wrong and God helped me in that area 
that's why i continue to trust god to help people in these areas may god may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. not just to say what you know this is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. because the end of all argument truly is results consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained are we together and tonight the lord wants to visit us like benga shared is a buffet a buffet of fat things he has set the table before us for yours it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting god for but there is a level of favor listen god has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness genesis 17 and verse 6 and i will make you exceeding fruitful he says and nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the, when the jealousy of god zooms on you you become a fearful wonder even to yourself it's true it's true you stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say god what are you doing it's not unmerited it is empowered but not unmerited there is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it and tonight i believe that in the name of jesus christ within the few minutes we have a very quick work to do tonight there are many of us seated here the truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life and it does not matter trust god that they will leave you there are others your miracle service began while i was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will come to you i will come to you you get up in the morning lord thank you and there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits and i'm not just talking finance finance is not the only expression of favor it's a needed one but not the only expression of favor when god lifts men to make your life easy you are trusting god for a new dimension in the spirit someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor let me sing this song again before we pray don't join me listen and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you favor found in him new levels of grace found in him that you step into a meeting as a man of god and you know that principalities and powers 
yokes thrones dominions are about to be subdued it's not a suggestion you are not guessing you are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate god's word upon your life a dear man of god i met you know while i was ministering great wonderful man just yesterday i met with him and he said apostle after a meeting and he said sir i've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months i'm a man of god and i've been praying and i laughed because when something is within your power you see that within your power given to you by grace the same way a little child comes to say please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power there are some things after tonight it will be within your power it's true within your power to speak and change things within your power and i told him i said let's pray i said this night you will have the answer and by evening he calls me and says apostle i almost cannot believe this even as a man of god that i was sitting down and this is the name this is that and i told him congratulations and he said what is this and i told him that this is called the power of god the power of god is a force it produces changes the same way you are sitting quietly now your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within few minutes my brothers and my sisters I I, I never I never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in a twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in, in a moment and you're waiting for days in Zaria will be worth it completely just like that please believe this if a worker in this ministry believe it don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive and you sit down and say wow I know no let's not cheat ourselves let's be sincere God is able to do let me tell you it is within his power to surprise you tonight not just to give you miracles to surprise you it is within his power to begin to alter systems and structures this night not tomorrow this night this night the Bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of God given to you when you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied it's called pride Elijah said let him come Naaman Elisha so that he will know not that there is a God in Israel that there is a prophet in Israel you would call that pride but the result showed it the same way you are a man of God now and in a few minutes if you are a man of God and you came here I want you to just get ready because what will come on your life it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you you will walk in strange levels of glory this is by the spirit are you hearing what I'm saying now? We're about to pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Results are not acts of pride and arrogance. They are acts of the grace and the mercy of God. Activated through knowledge. So God takes you to a new dimension. We're going to do a very, we will trust God for a very quick walk. I took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle the performance all of that is it, just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word but what you are hearing now is it this alteration that is happening not just to your spirit but to your mind find out how many impartation services Jesus conducted you will be surprised there were few times one of which he breathed upon them received the Holy Ghost but most times he camped with them for 40 days all he was doing was to teach 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 but do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power the power of God flows through his word so when the word of God is coming now you are immersed in his glory you see that and the spirit entered me not just when he laid hands on me when he spake unto me 
I've taught you how the word of God works. That the word of God is like a tree. It's carrying something. You don't receive it just for the word's sake. You receive it for what is on it. If, if I'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice, you bring it on a tray. Is that true? The first thing I receive is the tray. I receive the tray with joy, not because I need the tray. I need the rice. The word of God is a conveyor of the possibilities of God. So when the word of God comes to you, you are happy because of what is in it and on it. He sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. His word of deliverance. His word of, of healing. His word of lifting. Have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born? It says, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. That means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over, your phone can beep and you will see something that will keep you on your knees. And say, Lord, you just answered my prayer of five years in one day. How shall these things be? That's the voice of unbelief. We're talking God here. We're not talking a man. God. No wonder they said, Lord, I believe. But if what I call faith is nonsense, help thou my own belief. I need help. And Jesus helped him. Men of God, let's trust God for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter spiritually financially in grace in influence the part of the just shines shines don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance when people are ignorant they rob their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of god as though you are sinning so if you open up yourself to be blessed financially they they give a body language that suggests that you too you are joining them in this thing receive the whole counsel of god it is beneficial for all of god to be seen in your life you embrace the power of god and hate his resources the pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life i receive the whole counsel of god i receive the whole counsel if there is wealth i receive it if there is wisdom i receive it if there is grace i receive it everything that is on this table sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything little of what everything and we will never see. now you join me we know there's more that's found in you Time. Sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god you're trusting god for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting god for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe you're trusting god for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it you're trusting god for a change of results lord thank you i have evidences in my life but i need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify the 
supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray, Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be a session of prophetic deliverance. I'll tell you what that means. I'll pray for people. I'll minister. But there are times that I'll just speak the word, the case, and then God will deal with that. Number two, I, I, if we have the time, the Lord may speak to one or two people. And then number three, we'll take time and minister the healing power of God to the sick. It's very important and then number four we'll have the time to pray on our requests and then i prophesy and speak over everyone and that will be it for the night the, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that i say this to you especially for those of you who are coming for the first time so that your heart can be open it's going to be a flow all through and i want you to participate with your heart let your heart be open by the way you can stand in for your loved ones and then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world there's no distance truly in the spirit you can receive you can believe and then god can make this true in your life hallelujah praise the lord there is a grace that i found myself releasing upon the body of christ in this season and that's what we're going to start with the lord i don't know god has been doing something in my life since january this year started is the grace for speed this is what i want to release upon our lives all through my meetings in lagos for every meeting the lord has instructed me to release that grace listen no matter how many times you've heard me pray it i like for your heart to be open there is real speed that can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like elijah are we together now i want to i, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three i release that anointing in all the overflows right now one my god two three receive that grace right now Receive that anointing everywhere, inside and outside. I release that grace, that grace for speed. Life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release speed, speed, inside, outside. I release speed. People are receiving that grace. Strange speed, speed in ministry speed in your career receive it god is releasing it upon you no more delays no more delays by the spirit of the living god no more delays online offline localized here i stretch my hands and i prophesy that grace right now people will begin to run by the spirit i'm seeing it in the spirit and energizing of the spirit is coming on men and women speed speed i prophesy speed 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 outside overflow one overflow two overflow three
by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace I crush delay I crush delay I crush delay I crush delay I crush stagnation remaining in one position I judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace but now over families not just individuals you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation i stretch my hands right now at the count of three may god use you as a point of contact to supply speed to your family members are you ready one two three receive that grace families families speed speed to the north speed to the south speed to the east speed to the west in the name of jesus speed to the middle belt i release you i release you i release you Kabakato shalikata speed in the name of jesus i cause every power i cause every force by this grace and by this unction i release speed Lord is showing me a purple robe I'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and I'm seeing it come on people not everybody but there are specific people and I believe purple in 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 scripture is symbolic of royalty it is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people Lord I don't know where these people are they came from miracle service but I stretch my hands may the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension in the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Men robed in royalty, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, beauty for ashes. for ashes beauty for ashes pay attention to what God is doing beauty for ashes hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord and I'm seeing people the right legs being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and i'm seeing on it reproach that's what the lord is seeing reproach and the lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach it may not be for everybody but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god that everything that represents a reproach in your life tonight here and now i release by the supply of the spirit the grace and i cause that reproach now I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. My God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ, businessman, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical I'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now I'm seeing the Lord is leading me to stand here just this room and I'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke 
of barrenness i stretch my hands whether it is for you or your family members i'm just doing what the lord is asking me to do in the name of jesus may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now that if there is anyone within this road among those standing that is suffering any kind of barrenness i come against it right now i declare become a joyful mother of children a joyful father a joyful mother a joyful father a joyful mother a joyful father in the name of jesus christ The Lord is asking me to do something serious here. Now, this is an apostolic ministry and we are word-based. So whatever it is you do not understand, you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the Lord. Um, what, what God, I hope that you don't find it offensive. God is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people. This is an instruction that's why i'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me you will be surprised to see what happens i will not ordinarily do that no we we represent we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing but we are in a season of fruitfulness and god is giving me an instruction so i'm just going to do exactly what god is asking me to do just to be able to hold something and release that grace and that you have the grace to receive you'll be surprised to see what happens father i've obeyed you in charge like foolishness I stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction Lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of Jesus Christ I place a grace upon your life. You may look weak, but in the name of Jesus, let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies. Don't say you don't need it. 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 In the name of Jesus, let it give you rest to serve the Lord. Let it give you the fortitude to stop begging in the name of Jesus. And it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people entering realms right now in the spirit entering financial dimensions it is first spiritual before physical listen to me it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness let your faith come alive there are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities it's in you come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure please please i'm praying from my heart if you don't know what you are doing please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever are we together let me tell you this my brothers and my sisters when god begins to speak over your life in an area is because he has seen what is going to befall men and like an ark he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety many people in this year will languish financially i'm telling you this listen there will be a lot of cries that's why god is releasing this grace
there will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack please again i plead with you i plead with you in the name of jesus do not be under any pressure listen they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money I'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so i'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so we are committed to helping you experience god we're not playing games with anyone's destiny but i'm saying it again that there are people entering strange realms this is more than a miracle alert this is not miracle alert this is a realm it's a it's a dimension in the spirit and in the name of jesus i stand by this anointing again and i shift you step in step in step in step in step into this realm of surprise step into this realm of grace for your family for your family for your destiny step into this realm of grace it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found me it's in you lord it's in you lord i know there's more that's found me and we will never say we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you hallelujah i'm seeing a woman outside the lord is showing me a woman outside the power of god is coming upon that woman right now outside i'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows her name is not given to me but i'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing a very strong anointing will come upon that woman and the lord is telling me that he's bringing upon people the spirit of revelation is is a dimension of grace i want to pray that prayer right now father in the name of jesus christ i don't know who they are i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands i'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people i release that grace right now help them please i release that grace right now Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God, when it is holy. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our God, when it is holy. Something is coming on you. But I can't do that. Come, oh God, heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to go. But I can't deny my body. I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of jesus i release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones i don't care where the job must come from but i decree and i prophesy these jobs come to you speedily 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now I release that place. The healing anointing. Makato Sebekata. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it from ministry. Receive it from ministry. The healing anointing. Outside overflow one. I've seen the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. anointing receive it you need it in the name of jesus so you can take the healing power of jesus to the nation in the name of jesus christ you are carrying that grace bodily you are carrying that grace Evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people, you bring them out now. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Lift your hands. We are going to pray. We are going to read these spirits there are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah. I'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up I'm going to count three listen for those people please i want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please i want you to believe it at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place i decree and i prophesy that at the count of three as you shout jesus may the fire of god bring a separation between you and those influences one get ready two three shout jesus come out of them now I cast every devil in the name of Jesus and they shall cast out devils I command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances I command in the name of Jesus that they come out of their hiding place in the name of Jesus bring them out spirits of ancestry territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position that refuse to let them rise i come against you in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i'm seeing a sword and i know that sword is the word of god i cursed by that sword let there be a separation that every force tying anyone's destiny you're going to shout Jesus again at the count of three. Be ye lifted, all ye ancient doors. One, two, three. Let them go 
in the name of Jesus, release their destinies. Covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit many of you will feel physical fire on your hands there will be a strange deliverance that's why anything you do does not work no matter if it's a business it will fail if it's a relationship it will fail anything you lay your hands there is a spirit that steals your joy but right now I challenge and I attack that spirit let the fire of God right now at the count of three separate you from that interest one two three let them go now 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 in the name of jesus blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory Cover us with your The yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, I break it now, the yoke of bad luck, receive I'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck makato se sekete lekete yakata shabranda kato sadakato skele bakaratos eketo skele kete 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 karusa siya makando shana makata i break you free from the yoke of bad luck in the name of jesus bad luck it works well for others until you come and then something strange just happens all those under the anointing here i arrest this spirit and at the count of three every devil you will patch your load and every trouble you have brought to these destinies and go i speak as one sent by the anointing at the count of three leave one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the mighty name of jesus christ we're so great to pray for the sick Nada o kaka sunanka o bangi jika isaya nagi o kaka sunanka o bangi jika isaya nagi o kaka sunanka o bangi jika isaya nagi o kaka sunanka o bangi jika who is Jenna? Janet, Janet, I hear a name, Janet, Janet, there's, there's no time we have, Janet, please don't enjoy anybody, are you Janet, stand up, I had the name Janet, please don't tell lies, don't embarrass yourself, if you are not Janet, go back, Janet, Where are you from? 
in the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Look at me, look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor in the name of Jesus I decree and I prophesy by the spirit over you 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 all of you standing here for time's sake i'm going to pray for you one of you um the power of god is going to come on one of you the moment that happens i'll pray for everybody i'm seeing one person one of you the lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person not only is god bringing personal spiritual revival to you god is opening doors of opportunity lord where is that one person i decree and declare when that one person is identified and then I just pray for all of you in general I'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are and the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter and just around that vicinity of the media I stretch my hands may the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus like a mighty rushing wind rest upon the individuals within that vicinity in the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, whoever that one person is, may that anointing and that grace come upon you. You will never, 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 never be the same. The power of God will come upon that one person. The moment that happens, then I'll pray for everybody. It's just the instruction God is giving me. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands towards all of you. By faith and in the spirit, I declare. For whatever reason it is that God brought you out here, I declare. I place the word of God upon your situation. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. This lady wearing dark, come. God bless you. You can go back to your seat, all of you. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Where are you coming from? Asaba. From Asaba. Yes, the Lord is saying, I should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Amen. Oh, this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Step into it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. your banner we shine your light so we see honor of you Lord we raise your banner we shine your light so bright. we see honor of you Hallelujah Ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are in the name of jesus may the fire of the holy spirit from inside this auditorium 
to the overflows outside online let there be complete emancipation for such people in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear this lady wearing pink lift your hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can i'm seeing the lord take something out of your body we're about to pray for the sick but the lord is taking something out of your body that's why i told you to shout that name in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ now very quickly our time is gone we are going to be very very fast are we together um if you are trusting god listen carefully whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three if what you have please listen if what you have is a terminal disease a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence are we together like a death sentence you know what i mean i don't have to mention names please whether you're in overflow one two three be fair be honest i will want to minister by myself to you now number two those in here you can come out and you're trusting god for healing for you or for your loved ones overflow one please to your projector stand overflow two same thing to your projector stand overflow three to your projector stand so if you do not belong to this category that i particularly requested to come please god is here make sure you are sincere make sure you are honest i like all of you to come stand i'm about to minister and there will be men and women of god scattered across those by the roadside i don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of god ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i like you to just come believing hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening usher's pr department please join them uh, and then if, if, if there's a need for that, maybe the protocol department can help. Let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately. We'll be very fast, please. Um, dear people of God, let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um, finish up on time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you standing here, I want you to believe there is a God in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i'll just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly Those online connect by faith. Stretch your hands here and let's pray. Father, we decree and we declare. We just have a minute for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Libras Kadabrando Share Katosia brother. The same way we are standing on these requests in the name of Jesus. This is establishing your dominion above every challenge, above every situation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Radoza kando shala koska da brehe seneko shala bras. Ebroga bo shala kos kebronde kerosa tibra kato shala bras. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
every impossible situation here we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus we turn it around believe 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 we turn it around in the name of Jesus we turn it around in the name of Jesus we turn it around in the name of Jesus we turn it around in the name of Jesus this is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us a representation of your pain your stress that which attempts to challenge God over your life no matter how many times we prophesy we are limited and this is an opportunity to have everyone it's like tabling your heart before God there is a God that answers prayers this is not a ritual that's why we bring it before him and let me tell you we have we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this and I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness that this that you have dropped here before the Lord in the name of Jesus as you have brought it before him it will never if it's a tragic situation it will never return to you again and if it is a request that must appear in your life then I decree and declare I don't know how it will happen like the prophet said you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water I prophesy I decree and declare in the name that is above all names by the God of all grace your answer will find its way to your life even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you may my God make it happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ and I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today that you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ for many of you even before this month is over in the name of Jesus you will tick your list one by one one by one one by one one by one in the name of Jesus we decree it so by the power of the Holy Spirit we decree it so by the blood of the Lamb we decree it so by the Word of God we establish it it is done in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you now this will be um, the first time we're doing this in a miracle service for the year why do I round up the services with a prophetic word because I believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of God comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word people's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again let me tell you do you know that I listen to the miracle service messages myself and I receive all the prayers from the man of God just because I'm the vessel being used by God does not exempt me from receiving too I listen to the messages and God is my witness I follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely are we together now so believe this and you will see it work in your life it is only what you believe that will work are we together favor like never before in the name of Jesus beginning from this night may he follow you like a shadow follows a man I say it again favor like never before from tonight may he follow you in the name of Jesus Christ strange favor strange favor activating possibilities in your life strange favor in the name of Jesus Christ number two I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every overdue issue in your life an issue that has stayed long beyond necessary in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life May my God, the God of all grace, establish and settle you in every area. In the name of Jesus Christ, every long-standing issue comes to an end now.
everything that misrepresents you before your helpers the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gainsay nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom receive this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of jesus christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of god will be evident on your life i stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry let there be a baptism of that anointing now for every leader here let there be a baptism of that anointing now everyone do for promotion your place of work or your standing in for your your loved ones i decree and declare we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of jesus christ the spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year you will die during election you will die during this and that a crisis will happen and you'll be a victim of this i silence the voice of that spirit now i decree and declare whether by road whether by air whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death in the name of jesus may you be too late for tragedy if it will cause shame you will not be found there if it will cause pain you will not be found there in the name of jesus christ I decree that whatever it is you're involved with whether it's your career the works of your hands your business whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence to bless people and to empower you in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it Some of you at the beginning of the year your prayer life is already down it's too early your word life already down no appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil there is a difference between slumber and sleep one of the differences is control there are some of us even if you sleep by two in the afternoon you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up it's a spirit i curse it from your life now. you will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ god has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to see this they prosper through the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet and zechariah the son of Edo. i decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow 
in the name of Jesus Christ no one connected to this grace no one connected to this vision goes down financially and I pray for you those of us who have little groups ministries fellowships that were helping and building other believers and for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level nothing new nothing fresh I decree after this miracle service step into a new order of spiritual operation whatever needs to be restored in your life before february restoration restoration to bring back i command it to your life now in the name of jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of god may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment whatever it is that you have asked the lord that i have not mentioned here but is a desperate desire in your heart i release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me in the name of jesus let it be turned to your testimony two more prayer points may the spiritual fire on your altar the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we find your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies may your loved ones have the same experience in the name of jesus christ thank you lord jesus blessed be the name of the lord wave your hands and give jesus praise father we glorify you we bless you thank you thank you thank you i'm walking in the reality of every prophetic word thank you i receive every grace I receive every word in the name of Jesus except if you're under the anointing I like us to honor in one minute we will always do this we're a ministry that believes in soul winning we believe in giving people an opportunity to meet Jesus and um, even though our time is gone necessity is laid upon us to give someone an opportunity to find God's saving grace tonight. Let's minimize distraction, please. And so for all those here sitting, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, uh, the roadside, those connecting online and those in the main auditorium, you are here tonight 
and the Holy Spirit is ministering to you that you need to make this year different you need to give God an opportunity to start afresh with you could be that you have given your heart to the Lord but you need that assurance you truly need to rededicate your life to say Lord I'm handing over everything we have just a minute or two for you if you are sitting in overflow one two and the roadside and in here i would request you to come just stand in front here and then those at overflow three for the sake of time and distance i would request that you just walk to your projector stand and then those following online you can just follow me as i lead you through this prayer two minutes the lord is speaking to you please summon the courage arise let's encourage them make your way to the front god bless you those coming from outside please hurry up clear the way for them please god bless you god bless you there's nothing compulsory in the kingdom but the benefits are worth the while make your way quickly someone outside is saying apostle i want to come but i'm a bit ashamed there's nothing to be ashamed of make your way run to jesus if you're coming please come quickly there are contemplations happening in your spirit while you are sitting down you know you need to be here the devil will not ask you to be here the fact that there is a prompting to be here is a sign that the holy spirit is ministering to you win that war get up from your seat and come apostle what if my colleagues see me it's good they see you so that they become witnesses of your transformation make your way quickly we have just one more minute for you for those of you clapping in the name of jesus this is how many will honor you because you are committing yourself to encourage those who are coming to jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i understand that in the day and age that we live in it takes a lot of courage to be very vocal on a decision like this we live in a time where people pride themselves in being sarcastic they pride themselves in laughing at others especially when you are doing something spiritual jesus said whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away i honor and i truly celebrate all of you for the courage to stand even in the presence of everyone may i request that you just lift your right hand as a sign of surrender and repeat this truthfully after me say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i hand over my heart my mind my body my life to your lordship i declare that you are lord of my life i declare that i exchange my life for your life i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life the power of sin of satan of the flesh is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you for these precious ones they have made a decision for many of them the first time for many of them securing their eternal destinies i decree and i declare that the grace that helps people to stand to thrive and to excel in this kingdom may that grace come upon you i open you to the ministry of the holy spirit and the ministry of the word that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i plant in you tonight a fresh hunger and passion for the things of the spirit in the name of jesus christ and i declare i dissociate you from anything that can impede your spiritual growth may you enjoy the help of god in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you dear brothers and sisters let me request that you follow there's a lady waving her hands please all of you follow her in concert she will lead you to a committee that will welcome you more formally on our behalf is this the best you can do koinonia blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah hello 
scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.